<sighs> What's up everybody? My name is Russ with rwgresearch.com and quantumgravityresearch.org. Check them out. Guess what? Today we're playing with a high voltage supply. So I'm going to show you something today that I've seen a long time ago but forgot about and recently rediscovered and now I have the capability to do it myself. This is the water bridge. So in this experiment we're going to take de double deionized water, so number two type water, and we are going to put it inside of two jars just like this. So these two jars are sitting right next to each other. You can see how close they are. And what we're going to do is we're going to form a water bridge between these two glasses and we're going to be able to move these jars apart and sustain that water bridge. Pretty impressive stuff. So the phenomenon starts at around 10 kilovolt and it varies all the way up to, I've had it up to 20 in this uh, short session. So let's get right on into it. Uh, I need to put just a tiny bit more water in this jar. This is the positive, by the way. That's good. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be turning on the high voltage supply. And as I turn it up, the water bridge will start to form. Now I'm going to use this stick to try to move these away. So if you see me poking at it, that's what I'm doing. All right, here we go. There is our water bridge. So we're at five kilovolts. I'm going to bring it up to, I'm pulling about one milliamp. I'm going to slowly bring these jars apart. And the stick actually plays a role in this. So I got to be real careful because it'll pull the charge down. So I'm going to actually zoom in on that particular bridge so you can really see what's going on. So I have to slowly adjust this as I pull them apart. Now you can see I can actually stop the water leaking. So the water was running down because of my stick which was below it. You couldn't see it. Let me actually zoom out so you can actually see my stick because what's happening is the stick is actually pulling the water down and I have to and I have to sort of bring it back up so you can see I can I can affect I can affect it with this so I'm gonna try to bring it even further apart okay. oh uh, we blew the main fuse. Let me try it again. Alright, here we go again. We're going to start over. So there we started our bridge. I put a light on it so you can see the, the bridge a little bit better. I think. So I have a pretty low voltage. So as I turn the voltage up, you can see the the entire thing gets bigger or smaller. So I'm going to turn the voltage all the way down. Now I'm going to bring it back up. And the bridge reforms. So turn it back down and back up. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the lights on, but I want to I want to show you the meter versus the bridge. So you guys have a look at the meter. Okay, I'm going to bring it up, and the bridge gets bigger, and I'm going to bring it down, and the bridge gets smaller, really small. Look at that. And then I can bring it back up, and I can bring it back down. I find this quite fascinating. So they were almost pulling no current, but we've still got a stream across that thing. That's about 10 millimeters or so. Right at, yeah, right at about 10 millimeters. So let me try getting a different angle and see if we can uh, see even more detail this stream. 
Okay, so now we've got a little bit better angle. We're looking like straight across that guy. So I'm going to bring it up, voltage up. Now I'll bring the voltage back down. And you can see we can hold that streamer. So let's see how small of a bridge we can hold. Look at it oscillating. That is a really, really thin... Look at look at how thin that actually is. That is pretty wild. So it's about 10 kilovolts. Let's bring it back up again. And there it jumped up. Well, let's see how small we can go. That's about it right there. Let's see if a uh, different lighting is helpful or not. Oh, we broke our bridge. Let's see if we can get it back just by applying voltage. Oh, killed the supply. Okay, in case you're wondering, this is me moving it by hand. You can see that's about all we can get from it. So I'm going to put it right there and I'm going to turn the supply back on. And there's our bridge back. Let me get slightly higher of an angle. Because you can actually see... Uh, you can kind of see a pretty cool phenomenon there on the surface. So let's try moving it uh, apart again. I want to see how far we can get it to go. quit on us again. Alright guys, so with a GoPro's right in the way, but with a, a smaller voltage and a bigger gap, you can actually get a bigger, like a more of a distance of a stream. So check that out. It's actually fluctuating right now. I'm gonna try to turn it up just a little. Try to get it more stable. I'm gonna try to get it yet even further apart than it is and it's pretty far apart already Look at how far away that is. That is just really fascinating. Let's see if I can get a close up for you. I mean, that is a really big gap. I think I can actually see the water doing something. I'm not really sure what it is. The the uh, voltage and amperage is here, about 15 kilovolts. And look at the amperage; it's just kind of jumping up and down. It sure is fascinating. Oh, I turned it way down. Okay, I'm gonna turn the GoPro off. I'm going to turn the light off, and I'm going to turn it on uh, manual focus, and I just want to see what this looks like turning up the voltage in the dark.
right again. Wow. One more time. One more time. One more time. One more. Ooh. Okay, that's enough. Wow. Oh my goodness. So, that was the water experiment. Now, here's what I'd like from you. I'd like to know if there's any really cool ideas you want me to try with this. Now, one thing I want to try is actually putting um, a couple of different points, like pillars of a bridge, and try to see if I can get the water to span all of them. I think it would be neat if I can get... Uh, I was just able to actually get that gap right there. Let me actually measure it. Because that was quite the gap. So currently... That's about seven-eighths of an inch. Um, so I'm able to jump that when the, when the conditions are right. The interesting thing to note too is even though they're glass insulated jars, there is a puddle of water on there. So anyway, I'm going to leave you with a whole bunch of extra footage. Some of it I shot at 120 frames per second. I'll play it back really slow so you can actually see it in slow motion. Um, so I'm going to leave you with a whole bunch of extra footage. I don't even know how long this video is going to be. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. What do you want me to do with this? Um, it seems very fascinating. And if you want to know more about the science, uh, I'll put some links in the description. But uh, it's a lot more complicated than it seems. It's not about surface tension only. There's actually a lot more things going on. All right. Peace and love. Have a good day. Let me know what you think. Bye. Something smells like it's cooking. I don't really like that.
Okay guys, so what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to get the actual um, water to make its own bridge. So check it out. Let me get the camera turned a little bit. There you go. So check this out. It's really almost there, but it just won't bridge. And eventually it builds up potential and then it just arcs. We're at about 30,000 volts right there. Eventually it'll arc. There's 30,000 volts. All right, so we're going to uh, we're going to bridge them again manually. See if we can get that to go. Jumped. There it went. All right, now let's move them back apart. That is really fascinating. I'm going to turn the lights off. Let's see if a, uh, a white background is any better. Alright, let's try getting this further apart again. So at some point, it just, uh, just is what it is. Look how that interfered with it. That is cool. I'm going to try turning this light off. That's the GoPro flashing. So let's see if we can get the bridge to make. Oh. Can't see. <laughs> Hold on. We made a bridge. I kind of want to know if you can put a... a little spacer in between there, if it will... Uh, 
uh, actually like stay between them. Like if I could put something to hold a little dish of water in between those two, can I bridge those to make it even a bigger bridge? Something tells me I could, but I just don't know. I'm going to try turning the voltage way down. See how small of a gap we can get. <laughs> 